hot, sulfury, volcanic soak. Worth every penny. Isn't it amazing? These seats around the bar are actually made of ice. Simard Automotive. Fingers crossed these guys can help. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. Good morning. What a beautiful day to wake up to. The sky is blue. We had a great day parked up uh, at this lake. It's been a really lovely spot down here uh, by the lake. Apart from the mosquitoes, there's been a lot of mosquitoes. In fact, we swatted 40 in Trudy the first night we got here. 40. They do say that the uh, national bird of Alaska is a mosquito, and it's true. We have seen so many, but they tend to come out in the evening, so at the moment it's all good. The water is absolutely crystal clear, and uh, we've been expecting to see a bear coming out of the woods around here, but so far we haven't seen any. But what we did see while we were parked here is the helicopters uh, coming in with the buckets to pick up to go and fight the wildfires because the fire's about 10 miles that way. Although I can't see any smoke this morning, so maybe yesterday they managed to battle it. So we've been parked up here with our friends Sam and Andy. They're actually doing all the kids' schoolwork this morning, so uh, they've been busy. Morning. <laughs> and uh, today we're gonna be heading into Fairbanks which is about an hour and a half away. We're gonna try and get an oil change done on Trudy. Uh, for those of you that saw the last episode in uh, Anchorage when we tried to go, they wouldn't touch it because it's a Fiat. My supervisor says that we don't service Fiat's. So uh, we're gonna try another old school garage in Fairbanks and fingers crossed they'll be able to do it because she's due an oil change. Right, you ready to get Trudy some loving? I'm ready. But I'm gonna walk in front of the van because we noticed that there was some glass on the floor and the last thing we need is a puncture. Uh, we're leaving these guys here. See you later, guys. We'll catch up with you in Fairbanks. <laughs> Make sure there's no bottles on the floor. Oh, I cut the gun cartridges. Perfect. <laughs> you know, he's rolling. Leave your husband behind. Right, Fairbanks, here we come. It's, uh, it's surprising us how hot it is considering we're not far from the Arctic Circle. I would be expecting the temperatures to get a bit cooler, even though we're in the, uh, the height of summer. But it's been like high 20s, low 30s, and it's hot. It's been really warm. I looked at San Francisco's weather and I thought, just out of curiosity, and it's colder than here. It just doesn't make sense in my head. They also have fires. There's a lot of fires going on at the moment. Hence is quite hazy. Thirty-six miles from Fairbanks, and uh, it's getting really quite smoky again now from the wildfires. You can see the haze. You can feel it in the back of your throat. Not particularly pleasant. Okay, welcome to Fairbanks. That is the uh, the runway of the airport just there. And there should be a garage in about a mile on the right. Right, so it should be 
I think that looks like a garage there. Old school garage. There is hope yet. It's an old Westphalia. Okay, fingers crossed these guys can help. Fabulous news. Simard Automotive. He straight away said, no problem, we'll fit you in. They've ordered the oil, which is going to be delivered in about 15, 20 minutes from a nearby place. And uh, Marianne's just driving it into the bay. Trudy's going to get some loving today. And we get to wait in a lovely aircon room. It's even got telly with Netflix, apparently. Oh, honestly, when you're on the road, we say this time and time again, having a friendly stranger or somebody who helps you is just the best thing. You really appreciate it. And generally, Trudy has not had the best welcomes at garages. But these guys, just epic. Look, and she even got the engine clean. She's looking good. Yay, she's all done. And she's clean. Robert, you're a star for looking after our girl. And Isaac, thank you so much for the welcome. We appreciate you. We would like to say a huge thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. Basically, by creating an encrypted tunnel, it keeps you and your data safe whilst you're surfing online. The reality is that in today's society, we do so many things online. In fact, I bet most of you do your banking online. Traveling full time, we often have to use public Wi-Fi. And the truth is, you're not always as safe as you think you are. Can you imagine the stress it would cause if our bank accounts were hacked being so far away from home? But by using Surfshark VPN, we know that our online data is being kept safe. But Surfshark isn't all about online security. By changing our virtual location, our computer thinks it's somewhere else in the world. And that unlocks content that wouldn't normally be available to us. Which means we get to watch our favorite shows from back home. This month, Surfshark are offering Tread the Globe followers a very special discount. You get a whopping 83% discount plus three months free. Simply click the link in the description below and use the code TREADTHEGLOBE. Back to the show. Good morning. It is actually a different day. It was going so well. We did the oil change on Trudy yesterday. Came to Walmart car park here to buy some lunch. Walmart. <laughs> and then ended up chatting all afternoon um, so yeah, I didn't see anything of Fairbanks yesterday, but we did end up going to the cinema. I saw the new Top Gun Maverick, which can I say was absolutely fantastic. For any Top Gun fans out there, you have to go and see it. I went with Sam and Andy, our friends. And I took the kids to <laughs> Jurassic World and it was epic. There were some really good one-liners and I have really enjoyed Walmart car park in Fairbanks. We've met some incredible people. And uh, in fact, this morning we woke up and uh, some people that we randomly met at a car park last night who also have a YouTube and an English number plate, Cassie and Bradley, from a Big Dreams Travel Far are parked up next to us as well. And uh, we're hoping to meet them maybe in Mexico in the winter. Um, and they parked up there. So we got a British van, Trudy, and our friends Sam and Andy uh, with the kids. But this morning, we're abandoning everybody and we're going to some hot springs and an ice museum, which is about an hour and a half's drive out of town. You ready? I am very excited <laughs> and very ready. It's a little bit of a cloudy day today. I'm not sure whether it's cloud or smoke, although it did rain a little bit overnight. It actually looks less smoky. Hopefully the rain will have come. It was super, super smoky last night. And uh, hopefully there's not too many wildfires on our route today. So after an hour and a half's drive, we've made it up to the uh, Hot Springs Resort here. And uh, we're armed with our swimmers. 
So we're, we're looking forward to having a nice, hot, sulfury, volcanic soak. I don't think I've been to a resort for many, many years. No, absolutely. But it's, uh, it's a lovely looking resort. This is cool, look, the old uh, farming truck there. Very busy and touristy, my sweet. This is one of the main things to come and sit and do uh, from Fairbanks for day trips. Pool, massage and hot springs this way. 1917 car. Look at that, that's very cool. Although it's radiator looks a little bit better than Trudy's does at the moment. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're all changed and ready for the hot springs. YouTube is you not ready, ready baby? for my body. <laughs> oh, it's really warm. Oh, it's lovely. This rock lake is a place, a quiet place for people to soak and relax. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Wow, this is so nice. <laughs> so they got these hot springs here, look. Adults only. So it's nice and peaceful. You know, for those of you that live or travel in vans, you will appreciate how beautifully nice it is just to have a nice hot bath. It was $15 to get in and uh, you 50 cents for your locker, $5 for a towel. They said you could stay here till 11 o'clock tonight. <laughs> Although I might just stay here forever. Worth every penny. Isn't it amazing? Oh, this is glorious. Oh, it's just like the perfect bath temperature. It's just lovely, absolutely lovely. Moran's floating, she's looking a little bit relaxed there. Oh, this is lovely. After a fantastic swim and wallow in that hot thing, it's definitely worth coming the hot springs it was absolutely fantastic i feel so relaxed <laughs> i could just sleep 10 years younger for sure the best wash i've had in a year <laughs> <laughs> but they've actually got a ice museum which we're going to go and check out now but how cool is that there's an airplane in the parking lot okay so the ice museum you can't just come and pay to go in you have to be <gasps> part of a tour which the next one starts in a couple of hours. We were actually <laughs> sat in the van thinking there's so many people in there, we'll wait. And we'll go in when it's quieter. We'll wait it's quieter. As we say, if you don't ask, you don't get. Okay, Lily in the shop, super amazing. She's like, no worries guys, come on, I'll show you inside the museum. Thank so you. she is a rock star and gonna show us around. This is fun. This is amazing. Yeah. Lily has saved our life letting us in oh here. My and we've got our master ice covers in here, Stephen Heather. Oh, they wow. turned out everything in the studio. No way. Do you get not chill things or rainbows yeah. or Yeah, all the time. Everything. Wow. wow. And this is icy all year round. You keep it cut it's like all year round, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. They've actually got an ice bar here. These seats around the bar are actually made of ice with some fur on to keep you warm. I think if anybody complains that their beer is too hot, they are crazy. <laughs> This is one of the rooms that you can rent here. It's $600 a night. You've got your very own Christmas tree. How incredible is that? This would be where you would sleep. You have bedside cabinets, bedside lights. It's like a four poster bed. This is incredible. I have never seen anything like this. I'm just mind blown. Like Another aurora. bedroom and the aurora lights in the ice here. Look at that. That is why the lights are changing because of the aurora, the name. That's oh, fantastic. fantastic. 
definitely put this on your bucket list if you come to Fairbanks. And you just spend your whole day carving ice. <laughs> wow. They have like an ice bath and you get an ice bath and the tradition is, is to take it outside, make a wish, smash it on the floor. And we just thought everyone was being super violent when they came out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to try and put it in my freezer, there in my you pan. Go. You can do that. And when we get to the Arctic Circle, <sighs> I'm going to pour some wine in. Perfect. Yes, let's do it. Perfect. Just don't forget to turn the freezer on. And I love the fact that all the lights change colour. Oh, from the wedding? Yeah. What a place to get married, hey? How many years have you been doing this, Steve? Wow, you definitely have some skills, my friend. Thank you very much, Lily. You are a rock star. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this in the freezer before it burns. Oh, yeah. I reckon, that's a, I reckon that's a good idea. Thank you. That was absolutely fantastic. And I'm so pleased that Marianne suggested let's just go and ask anyway, because otherwise we would have missed it. And people are lovely. Does it fit? Does it fit? If in doubt. It's going to be tight. Oh, no, it doesn't. It fit. doesn't fit. I've got, I've got an idea. We're going to smash it. Oh. OK, okay. We're still drinking. We're oh. drinking out of that There's one. A hole. <laughs> oh, maybe I could put it in this tube. You could just put some more it. ice inside. Yeah. OK. OK, he's in. We'll see what happens it at the Arctic Circle. <laughs> so while we've been parked up here, I was thinking, this is nice. They give electric sockets to the cars or the RVs or whatever that, that park up. But actually, these are for in the winter to plug your car in to stop it freezing because it gets so cold. And you can see cars have the electric sockets coming out the front. It's not for RV park up, so charging your electric scooter, or it's for the engines. <laughs> right, let's head back to Fairbanks. I feel 20 years younger. You look 20 years younger, Marianne. Maybe Trudy should go in. <laughs> <laughs> Trudy should have a wash. We just stopped to use the restroom and realized we're by a shooting range. Listen. So we've, we've just, uh, we've just U-turned and uh, we're just turning back. We saw a mummy moose with two babies uh, right by the side of the road. So we're going to go and see if we can uh, get a little picture of them. Uh, they're literally right there. We are so lucky to get these moments. How cool is that? Mummy and babies. That's the first baby moose we've seen. Or mooses. Is it moose or mooses? Moose. Moose. There's three moose loose in the field. <laughs> okay, so we've stopped about 10 minutes north of Fairbanks because there's something we have to show you whilst we're here. Okay, so we've come to the oil pipeline viewing point. And you can see here, this pipeline stretches all the way from the north of Alaska, from Prudhoe Bay, all the way down to Valdez, uh, which is where we filmed on a previous video. And we are right here. 800 miles of pipeline taking oil from the oil fields up here. And that's why in Prudhoe Bay, you can't get up to the Arctic Ocean because of the oil field here. So here you go, this is a section of the pipe. This is the pipe that carries the oil. It's a huge pipe. And this is where it runs past Fairbanks. Up there it goes to Prudhoe Bay, and it goes all the way down there to Valdez. And there's a moose walking under the pipeline. that is that was massive that was 
<laughs> Moses. That, that was awfully. huge. I can't believe it. So they used devices called pegs to put inside the pipeline to keep it clean. This is an example of one of the original old school pegs when they first built the pipeline. And this is a new pig. This plastic thing that's put inside the pipeline. Made out of polyurethane and it is used for cleaning the pipe. Could we get a cleaning pig for Trudy? Then I don't oh, know. We could do with a cleaning pig for Trudy. It's a pretty impressive pipeline. And we saw a moose. A huge moose. I can't believe how big they are. I know they are big, but they're big, big. Everyone told us, don't worry about the bears, worry about the moose. And look at it, the size of them. If that thing pushed, pushed you, stampled you, hit you with their horns, you would know about it. Okay, so we are leaving our beautiful park up in Walmart car park here in Fairbanks. And we are starting our journey uh, towards the Arctic Circle. And ironically, we're going south. We're heading to Tok because we're going to the Arctic Circle on the Canadian side, not the Alaskan side. We'll come to that in a later video. Um, but yeah, we've got a 200 mile drive south to Tok. And uh, on the way, we have a very funny little quirky place to show you. Seems to be one of those uh, days for weather warnings today. We had two this morning. The first one was for a thunderstorm. Up until midnight, they warned that there could be uh, bad lightning uh, around Fairbanks. And the second one was for smoke. And then they said that the lightning would probably cause more wildfires. So they've definitely got their battle with the wildfires up here at the moment. So we're just arriving in a town called the North Pole. And look, you can already see Santa Claus Lane this way. I've got a feeling it's gonna be a bit festive, even though we're in the height of summer in the North Pole. Okay, check this out. So, we've literally just arrived in the North Pole and you can see that there is candy cane designed light, uh, street lights, lamp posts, McDonald's has a big candy pole with the uh, golden arches on top and the petrol station here has also got a bit of a candy cane theme. There's a trend happening. Okay, so we've <laughs> stopped. <laughs> Marianne's got the giggles. <laughs> ah, okay, let's start that again. We've arrived, guess where? Santa Claus's house. <laughs> Yes, we have. <laughs> and <laughs> a very serious episode here with Tread the Globe. But we are in the North Pole at Santa Claus's house in 31 degrees in the height of summer. We're in the North Pole, baby. Exactly. Every single day we drive, we are more and more astounded at how far Trudy, our girl Trudy, has made it. There you go. She's rocking it. So apparently they have a store here and uh, Santa Claus's house. So we're just gonna, uh, as we're driving past, we thought we would show you and just go and check it out and see what it's all about. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is Santa Claus's house because it looks like, kind of like a giant candy cane. 101 St. Nicholas Drive, the North Pole, Alaska. If you wonder where all your letters goes, kids, this is where he's based. I'm gonna find Chris's name on the naughty boy list. What oh, maybe. So all the way around the side of the building, they got these lovely festive Christmas displays and it's a great place just to have a bit of fun and take some pictures. the world. That's a pretty big Santa. That's funny. I don't think I've ever seen a reindeer up close before. They've got furry horns. Christmas happens all year round here. There's some letters from the kids. There you go. Some of the letters from the kids to Santa. There is Santa. And here is a humongous Christmas store. Santa land. Oh. 
look at this. They got Christmas trees, loads of goodies. And that is where you would see Santa here. Look, he'd be sitting here. That looks like Santa's office to me. The world map, the parcels of mail, the list. Is Chris on there? No, I can't see. Maybe that's the naughty list. So there you go, that was a bit of fun. Very touristy, Christmas all year round, but hey, for the kids, it's great. <laughs> and we bought our granddaughter a couple of little souvenirs from Alaska. You'll have to wait for Christmas. <laughs> okay, that's the North Pole done. So let's carry on our journey now as we head towards the Arctic Circle. There is a truck on the island in that lake. Are they driven across? Lunatics. It looks like they're stuck. Just driving along here, this bridge, you can see the pipeline going all the way along. That is the, uh, the oil pipeline that we showed you in Fairbanks. So we're just coming through Delta Junction and uh, seeing a petrol station, best fill up because we've still got another two hours to go and uh, about a third of a tank. So uh, yeah, we'll fill up. Yeah, that's all clear. All fueled up. And uh, thanks to Donald, the guy in the gas station for being so friendly and welcoming. And he told us of a place just down the road that we should be able to get a call Alaska Highway, Alcan Highway for um, for Trudy. So we're gonna just gonna see and hopefully it's open. It is Sunday night. There's a big sign saying we are open, but I'm not convinced. <laughs> okay, so this is funny. There's no way the visitor center's open, but they've got these huge mosquito display here. Look. That is the national bird of Alaska. Look at the size of that. It's absolutely huge. So there you go. That is the crossroads of Alaska, Delta Junction, and it says end of the Alaska highway. Okay, so they said there was gonna be lightning in this region and that uh, it started to cloud up. Looking a little bit gray there. But at least the smoke has stopped. It looks pretty clear of fires where we are right now. Heading south, we're back to the dramatic mountain views of Alaska. We are so lucky being in our own vehicle because we're able to get away from the towns. Absolutely. Oh, what's Ooh, that? we got flashing lights ahead. What's occurring here? I think they're on fire patrol yeah. by the looks of it because of the, uh, the fires. Yeah, Good. forestry fire. They got a job today because, uh, yeah. actually it looks a bit smoky. It does, I was just thinking. Oh, I can smell it. No. Yeah, I can suddenly smell yeah. it. Um, so they're obviously checking for the fires with the lightning starting fires, I think. Well, you can see suddenly it's gone smoking. You can smell it, can't you? It really can. Okay, we've arrived at a very wet tock. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you press that subscribe button. And make sure you join us next time where we take on the challenge to drive the top of the world highway. Bye for now.